All right, Patrick. Kobe White, most improved player you wanted to talk about. Let's talk about it. First things first. I got standing beef with everything Detroit, so ha ha. The Pistons took y'all win today. Take that, <laughs> which the Pistons took y'all win. The second I saw the Pistons won, the second I saw it, I said they're gonna lose. Like they <laughs> bad omen, bad omen. Oh, what was it? What what was it uh, in uh, in Avengers? A soul for a soul. <laughs> That's crazy. They yeah. traded the soul stone. They That's traded crazy. the soul stone, bro. They gave it to the Pistons for the t- <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, it is what it is. Uh, hold that L. Uh, no, I, I I wanted to talk about this because I, I think that at this point, we're now halfway through the season, and Kobe White has made a case for himself uh, for the most improved player. And I, I think when you look at his game coming into this season – the improvement that you've seen from this young man, sometimes you do just got to put the paper on and put the tape on and actually take a look at what we're seeing from him. And the thing about Kobe's, how he's making the plays now, how his scoring has improved, how his defense has improved, is now we're seeing him do this while consistently getting the shots that, we think that he should have taken. And just just so you guys understand how much more Kobe White is actually shooting the ball while improving all of his numbers. Last season in totality, Kobe White took 334 three-pointers, made 128 of them. This season, he's taken 334, and he's made 131 of them. You look at the field goal attempts, uh, uh, he's taken 693 season before, 594. He made 263 in 2022 this year, 317 already knocked down. The consistency that we're seeing from Kobe White, I think, is on a most improved player track and on a team that you actually can see the most improved part of it, right? Because there's some names on this list. This is, the, this is your top five right now for most improved odds-wise, right? Tyrese Maxey, number one. Alfred Sengun, number two. Scotty Barnes, number three. Kobe White, number four. Tyrese Halliburton is number five. When I look at Maxey and Sengun, okay, Sengun I put in there. Maxey was already good. Yeah, already in their all-star. Like I, 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 why is Tyrese Maxey the the favorite to win this award? Scotty Barnes was already good. Scotty Barnes was a really good player last year, and now all of a sudden he's the most improved. Tyrese Halliburton? Well, you gonna go from all star to superstar? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't know. I, I just feel like Kobe White's at a point right now in his career where. Um, the, the improvement is surprising. And when you see that basically just putting the ball in his hand more doubled all of his production, like I, and, and the, and the percentages haven't dropped off. How many guys do we see that they finally start getting more shots and maybe the percentages stay the same or they start to go the other direction because they've taken so many more shots. Kobe White's percentages have been improved in every stat category. Yeah, that he's, to he's me shooting the ball. speaks to him. He's shooting the ball the best he has in his career, and it, it's 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 by far, and it, it's good to see Kobe do that, especially with his use. Now, it's not the highest usage rate of his career. His actual highest usage rate was his rookie season, yep. but this is now tied for the second highest usage rate in his career, and he's shooting the highest true shooting percentages. So, again, volume up, efficiency up. That isn't usually the case. Yeah. It, it's it's surprising. It's, it's it's actually staggering to see, and I think that's the other thing too, right? Outside of like his rookie year, this is the most we've seen Kobe get utilized. Yeah. Everybody else has Alperin Sangoon has been not nah, maybe not. I'm not going no, to say, say no. Nah, nah, yeah, you I mean, got to on that. To me, those are the two names that I have up there for most improved. Those that's to true. me are your two tops because Tyrese Maxey he he got a ton of play in the playoffs. He got a ton of play. Uh, 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 in the regular season, right? He was somebody who was already up. Tyrese Halliburton was the starting point guard on the team and was balling out last year. I mean, like the two names that I think are at the top of this list right now, Alperin Singun and Kobe White. And to me, Kobe White edges him out just a little bit just because I think that Kobe's dealing with a season this year that we can say, ooh, this sucks to say. He has less help than what Shingun has down in Houston. 
because of how many guys have just been in and out of the lineup, how much Zach, Le- the whole Zach Levine saga that we're still in at this point, right? Like, yeah. I, I would say Kobe White has less help, which to me would speak to it being a harder time for him to try and keep his numbers where they are. Yeah, I mean, Kobe's having having a year that you could definitely make the conversation for the most improved player. Like you said, like, Singu and I do have a little bit above Kobe, and I hate saying that, but when you look at it, too, I got it. It's not just the, the the production. Like, the numbers tell you he's the most improved candidate, but then you also got to look at, look at how Kobe White today broke down defenses. That wraparound pass to Andre Drummond was a pass that we're not seeing Kobe White make any other year of his career. The way that he's now understanding how he got to the free throw line once today, I think it was, I think it was Thibault that was guarding him, where yeah. he literally was going basically full speed, slowed down just a hair of a second, went full speed right again and got the, got the foul call. Those are little things that people aren't going to pick up unless you slow down and watch the game. But Kobe White's making the decisions that you see veteran smart plays. The basketball IQ is also up exponentially for Kobe White and what he's doing growing as a point guard. That I just I, I feel like you got it. You 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 have to understand that that's part of the reason why he deserves to be in that conversation completely. Let me ask you this: Do you feel like, and and this is insane coming from me from where I was at with Kobe White to start mm-hmm. the season, but do you feel like? Once we end up finally getting past this saga, again, looking at the numbers, looking at what he's been able to do, but still having to share so much, do you feel like Kobe White's becoming a player that the Chicago Bulls might have to look to try and build around moving forward? Because these are still numbers with Zach Levine coming back in, demanding shots. DeMar DeRozan has taken exponentially less shots, but still you have those moments where Damar's going to go off in the fourth and he's going to be like, I'm taking seven shots tonight. You just deal with it. <laughs> right? Like, do you feel like you are you could see Kobe White take a jump even past this if that's not a part of the team right now? I, I do, but I think you I think you need some of that support uh, with, with him. For so sure. that's why you hear things like, you know, they're still looking for win now pieces. But I do think that Kobe White offers it because of one, I, I don't like comparing him and Zach Levine. I hate doing that because I think it gets people into this 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 fight conversation that it doesn't have, have to be. make Zach Levine trash to yeah. make Kobe White good. Exactly, yeah, yeah. and that's not what I'm saying it for, but I am saying this. I could see Kobe White being a player that makes the players around him better than what Zach Levine was able to do because that just wasn't Zach Levine's game. Again, it's not to crap on Zach to make Kobe better, but like Kobe has that type of mindset. Zach was a scorer. Zach is, hey, let me score. Let me get out my way. I'm going to lead that way. Kobe White is, we're seeing him turn into a leader. And I think that's what's helped propel him a little bit even further. Yeah. And I I would say even, right, like your win now players that we're talking about, right? We've talked about mm-hmm. the Detroit trade possibility, um, the possibility of moving them to Port, not, not Zach, but maybe DeMar to Portland, like all these weird possibilities that have popped up, different things like that. Your win now players maybe don't have to be the level of players that you thought you needed here now because of Kobe White to be. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I honestly that. believe if you went out and you got dudes that, what do you do? I shoot. What do you shoot? Above 40%. That's all I shoot. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you went out and got those guys, I think that you could get more out of them than possibly what we're getting out of Zach and out of DeMar right now. I mean, they have to be, they have to also understand when pass, but it's more than just shoot. They have to understand how to operate in the offense. But I do think that if there's something to be said, if you surround this with shooters that have high basketball IQ, there's there's reason to to think like that for sure. No, we got the, uh, we got the racist in the comment. Hey, Hayes, we doing something right, baby. Hey. <laughs> whenever, whenever the racial slurs come out in the comments, we hey, right. got to love it. Got to yeah, love baby. it. Hey, we killing it out here. Hey man, uh, before we get into this <laughs> Apparently, there's a there's a New York Giants channel that's talking about me, which is weird because it's like nobody's thought about you guys in ten years. But go ahead, keep it yeah, going. You got Giants beef. I got out Giants here? fans you mad at Giants me. Apparently, beef? that's gross. That's crazy because right? y'all got Daniel Jones. Like our quarterback situation ain't great, <laughs> exactly. But it ain't Daniel Jones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, find out who that was. I want to see what they said. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. man, we are gonna get into this final topic where we.